compound chair. This is a request by the applicant for a new 265 foot tall telecommunications tower on the subject parcel. It is zone commercial highway. It's also the people's corridor overlay district. And all new towers require consideration by planning commission and board commission for approval. The proposed tower is determined to be of no hazard according to the Federal Aviation Administration. And officials of Moody, Airport, Moody Air Force Base and the Velocity Regional Airport have been notified and of the request and provided no additional comments or objections to the request. The applicant is also currently seeking a variance to setback requirements of the VLDC. Um, again, we should stop here for just a second. You see the existing site, the Lowndes County Fire Rescue Station there. It's currently under expansion for a full-time staff. Uh, it's going to be completed, I believe, by January. Um, so that property is going to be expanded to the, to the right-hand side of the picture here. The current property is vacant, wooded, third lot. You see the overall proposed site plan here. Proposing the lease in 80 by 80 foot section for the pad telecommunications equipment. Inside that is the proposal for the self-supported tower, three dots inside the triangle. Um, and you see the 100 foot also barrier, um, which is within the engineer fall zone. One of the requirements for new towers that cannot be co-located is that they be uh, you know, 110 percent of the overall height away from residentially zoned properties. This picture here depicts that 292 feet, which is 110 percent of the proposed height. And yes, it does touch residentially zoned properties. Um, you notice that there are no residential structures within the approximate fall zone, uh, or the 110 percent. Sorry, not the fall zone. Um, and that's the variance that they're requesting at the November 2nd. Overall picture of the tower, its height, its location, does meet buffer standards as well. Fencing is provided. This tower is being proposed. To fill a gap in this area. This is the current existing cellular coverage. The most right there in the middle, the, the red section. And with the new tower, the proposed coverage oh, wow. increases greatly. With that being said, uh, staff has found the request overall consistent with the conference plan and the TRC had no additional objections or comments regarding this request. And again, the pending zoning board appeals coming up uh, for the setbacks is in their consideration. Okay. Any other questions? My name's Andy Rodenstrike. My address is 420 20th Street North in Birmingham. Uh, here on behalf of City Switch, there's a company looking to construct the tower. The tower is being built for the initial tenant AT&T. Uh, so, as you guys know, I've been before you, some of you might remember, for better or for worse. Um, and on something Mr. Doctor would say, is he did a really good job with his presentation. Um, so, we're here to fill in the gap in coverage for at and That's really the issue here. First thing we always do is look for existing towers in the search area that we need to be in. And of course the signal dictates where we need to be. So the signal dictated we needed to fill this gap in coverage. There were no existing towers. The closest tower is a, over, it's 2.04 miles to the south and the west, which is actually the green on that map. at and on that tower. 
So there's no existing tower that we could use that we could co-locate on. Again, at t would much rather do that. It's much quicker and cheaper. Uh, so with no existing tower, our only option is to build another one. Uh, so that's what we're pro proposing here. It'll be strong enough to hold additional carriers. So when other carriers determine that they need additional coverage in this area, they can just hang their antennas on this tower. Uh, one thing to point out for AT&T in particular is that AT&T uh, won the bid to provide the first responders network called FirstNet. You may or may not be familiar, it stemmed from 9-11. You may recall when 9-11 occurred, police couldn't talk to fire, we couldn't talk to EMA. FirstNet is a system designed to fix that problem. AT&T won the bid from the federal government to deploy FirstNet and this is a FirstNet site. So there'll be also regular AT&T coverage here, but FirstNet in that network, what happens is any emergency responder gets priority over any other regular customer on the network in the event of an emergency. So uh, with that said, you know, we did look at some other properties. I'm happy to go through that with you. This really ended up being the only property that worked. It had the right zoning, uh, we had a, a willing landowner, right, which is always sometimes tough to get. Uh, we looked at the, uh, the uh, HCA school, which was really kind of right in the middle of where we wanted to be, but we went back to them several times and they were just not interested. So that's how we got to this particular property, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to try and answer. So that 2.04 miles south, where's that at? Do we know the street? Or it's, on, it's right off business. Looks, you know, looks like where and Forest meet. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a tower just north of that intersection. I bet that's the one. Yes, sir. And it's it's a little bit shorter than this one, but you can also see that the coverage is wide mm -hmm. as we're getting here. And that's part of our problem. We have to need the height for the signal to reach the other two towers to make it a network. Right. I'm just curious. Is that kind of it's kind of off the road a little bit, or is it is it it is. It is. Mm -hmm. um, if you remember where Forrest used to come into yeah, this yeah. at an angle, but that's no longer there. There's like a, uh, an abandoned strip of the road right. where Forrest got realigned. It's to the east of that up the hill. Um, if you went diagonally through mm -hmm. the brush, yeah. um, you get into yeah. that little commercial center that has the Taco Bell right in front of the Highlands. It's, um, if you know where Miles subdivision is, yeah. It's off their northwest corner. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you about this big red area over here. What are y'all intentions for that? <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, so that's really moody, mm -hmm. right? So right. we actually have uh, some what we call small cells mm -hmm. that are because of the Air Force operations there. Building a tower like this, like was referred to earlier, would not be allowable mm -hmm. by moody. So in that situation. Uh, in a lot of that area, we have small cells, so they're basically 40, 50 foot poles that in areas like Valdosta will put in the rights of way along the streets. They basically just mount them on top of the power poles that are there. So we uh, have been doing that kind of system in places like Moody. Huh. So again, and also you get to what's out there, right? What do we need to cover? Of course, we're hitting you know high traffic streets, highways businesses. And of course now with people working from home, we're getting a lot more demand for better coverage in residential, which this will help. Uh, there's a lot of residential across Demas Road, and which is the main target here. So I don't know if that answers your question. It does. We're and what about the timeline for this tower? Uh, it is a 2022 build. Okay. So within the next 12 months, it wouldn't get done by the end of the year, I don't think. Unless, yeah. Checking with boss man to make sure. Thank you, Andy. Mm -hmm. Thank I, you. Just, just, and of course, this don't mean the hill beans, but uh, I, the reason I asked Matt about the location there, yeah. I mean, I, I'm thankful for the coverage, but it's, just don't look right down the road to me, but that's, that's well, me. Then let me have your cell phone. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't live out there, so I don't mind. <laughs> I, mean, well, I, I, I agree with the need to cover I'm just saying that looks unsightly. Yeah, yeah, look, we. And we kind of got driven to this spot, number one, because the zoning is commercial, right? right. Of course, you're pushing, the, the ordinance pushes us, as it should, to commercially zoned areas, right? 
And then the willing landowner, that's probably the hardest part, you know, because we do have a very small defined area where we can get it. And so we do get limited, uh, but I hear you. Uh, we like to be further off, but we just don't have the options here. I get it. And this is for at and at t will be the initial tenant, yes, sir. But again, Verizon, T-Mobile, now DISH is a wireless carrier. They can get on it yeah. uh, whenever they feel need. Where would I find a map that denotes these areas? Is that something that is... Like this? That you have access Coverage to? maps. Mm -hmm. The best place to go is going to be the at t website or the carrier's website. You're going to need to zoom in, and they're going to have all sorts of disclaimers, right? Probably like this one should have had. But, um, it, you know, it's a general picture. Uh, you know, is that street going to get the green coverage, which we want, or the bright yellow, which we want, or is it going to be the orange or red? You know, it's because it, it really changes, you know. Believe it or not, there's better coverage in the winter than in the summer because of foliage. Leaves can interfere with the signal. Buildings. Interior room in a building, roof of a building or a room next to a window or a door. I mean there's a lot of factors that go into it way beyond me. So that's probably your best advice. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right. Is there anyone tonight who wishes to speak against this request if you'll come forward? Anyone wishing to speak against this request? All right, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Any final thoughts, questions, discussion? If not, I'll call for the motion. Madam Chair, regarding this telecommunications power request, uh, as uh, we have discussed at length, Motion. All right, if not, all those in favor, raise your right hand. All those against, and the motion here. 